Hi, I'm Ben Saborga, Business Development Manager from AI Motive. AI Motive develops artificial intelligence-based software for self-driving cars, and we use cameras as primary sensors. So today we're going to show a demo of our, of our car going around the Las Vegas Convention Center and uh, recognizing the environment, uh, classifying objects, and then planning a safe trajectory between those objects. So we have six cameras set up around the car which are handling a full surround view environment recognition. And currently, it's all processed by four uh, GPUs in the back of the car. Although we do develop our own hardware IP, which will, much, which will greatly reduce the power consumption needed for these calculations. I'm Martin Görög from AI Motive. I'm the leader of one of the artificial intelligence groups and car control groups. And I introduce how the software looks now here. Okay, so which you can see on this first screen are the row camera pictures. Three of them are straight looking cameras, others are the sides or to the back. Um, this is a fisheye camera, wide angle. These two looks to the straight direction, stream direction and they are same cameras. It's useful to have them because as our eyes is working also, uh, we can have depth information from the left and right side cameras. We can calculate the distances and it gives us a precise distance information from any object which may come in front of us or pass or we would pass. Okay, I will show the surround view which shows from the camera pictures, a stitched top-down view image. Uh, it's a bit shiny here, but you can see that in every direction of the car we can see our surrounding. It's even useful for processing our localization data because it's much easier to detect lanes, these dots, if we have a wide range around the car. If we would just try to find lanes based on a small image, probably even uh, full with cars around us, it's much more difficult to find exactly the lanes. Next view is the segmentation view. You can see by color codes the different type of objects. Orange are the cars. Here you can see a pedestrian in red and with the sidewalk in blue road is in green. It's really useful also for trajectory planning. Um, the free space is the green area and we are trying to drive on the green if the software would drive. Okay. And other kind of data processing step is the bounding boxing which also shows the cars as the segmentation and the pedestrians as well. But it has an advantage that it uh, understood how many cars are there, so it shows the instances, but like the segmentation which just shows a big orange area on the screen. So for checking the cars, that where are they going, how many are there, how are they moving, it's great to have these bounding boxes. I showed you I said you already did this stereo uh, depth, but we have an artificial intelligence solution for this. This one is also giving depth information from for us, but only from one camera. It's a mono camera uh, information, which is really great because even if one of the front looking cars would get dirty or broken, or to the sides, actually we have only just one one camera, we still can get depth information, distance information for all around us. Why this depth is so important? Because if the segmentation wouldn't recognize some special creature or some special objects from the world, still from depth information we know that if here is some obstacle in front of us which we have to overtake or stop behind it so it's an additional safety layer so to say in this fusion view you can see both of them so we detect this car also by the bounding box and also by those lines that there is some obstacle on this view we can see the raw image 
Mm. And the, that information, I pause now the screen, the information flow, and I can show how we can see a car even from the side, because we know how this car stands, that which, let's say, pixel is how far from us, even if we, our viewpoint was from this direction. Oh, ah, yeah, of course, I should continue. About, uh, we are not allowed to drive now the car from software, but the software understands how the free space in front of us changes, and based on this, it can react with acceleration and braking. Also, we can detect additional things like uh, the tables. We passed earlier here a speed limit table. A sign. Uh, a sign. I didn't show that moment, but it remembers which was the last sign which we saw. Yes. Well, you saw my turn, because I don't have to wait. So, we are generally finishing our tour here. Again, you can see all the pedestrians segmented very precisely. Okay, so thanks for joining us today for this demo. Uh, I hope you've seen that uh, the system is capable of really recognizing everything around the car. And uh, we've just opened our office in Mountain View, so probably soon you will be able to see the car driving itself by the software. Thanks.